The high-speed rail system Bangkok n a k h o n r a c h a s i m a n o n g k a i Line is a major transport infrastructure project that the government is pushing through with the aim of helping to boost development in northeastern Thailand. The project will help create job opportunities in the area and increase income to improve everyone's quality of life. The new train system will also enhance Thailand's capacity as the transport and trading hub of the ASEAN Economic Community and build national economic stability and sustainability. The project will also improve and enhance Thailand's transport network by raising it to a level on par with that of other developed nations. In pursuit of this, the Ministry of Transport, represented by the Office of the Transport and Traffic Policy and Planning, or OTP, and in cooperation with the State Railway of Thailand, has developed a definitive design and carried out a feasibility and environmental impact study to obtain people's opinion and to reach an agreement on the plan. The track for the high-speed rail link from Bangkok to Nakhon r a c h a s i m a will run through economically important provinces in the central and northeastern regions. The OTP has had four types of substructure designs. These are: one, ground-level track; two, elevated track; three, tunnels. Four land bridges. The OTP is keen to link the high-speed rail system with the double-track system to transport passengers to and from all important parallel economic cities of the northeastern region. Starting from Bangsu Station in Bangkok, the line will share the track with the Northern Line to Chiang Mai. Passing Don m u o n g and Ayutthaya, until it reaches Ban p a c h i Junction, from where it heads to s a r a b u r i Station, which is located at the Klong Prio Reservoir. The track is elevated across downtown s a r a b u r i and then runs to Gang Khoi and Map k a b a o Stations before entering a tunnel cut through a limestone mountain and onto m o k l e k From Wok Lake, the track will be elevated to cross a hill until it reaches Pak Chong Station, which is located on Ratchaphasadu land in Nong Sa Rai subdistrict. From Nong Sa Rai, the track will run along the bank of the Lam Takong Reservoir using elevated track alternating with tunnels, where the line passes through mountains. Following this, the line will then run on ground-level track using elevated sections, where it passes through urban areas such as s i k i u and s u n g n e n districts. When it approaches h u k a o l a d the track will be elevated along a length of five kilometers before it reaches the current n a k o n r a c h a s i m a Station. The railway will have a total length of 252 kilometers. In the future, the line will be extended to Nong Khai Province, using mainly ground-level tracks. The track will be elevated only when the line passes through downtown communities. Khon k e n Udon Thani, and Nong Khai stations will be on this line. The design of the stations combines modern elements with local arts and cultural identities, resulting in a unique architectural style that also meets the passengers' needs for convenience. The elderly, people with disabilities, and children will all be catered to, and all will have access to full amenities provided in line with the universal design. Moreover, to fulfill the needs of tourists who have a modern lifestyle and travelers who like to shop and chill out, scenic landscaped areas will be provided at each station. Passengers will be able to relax in a lounge, visit a restaurant or cafe, or enjoy shopping at booths offering a wide array of O-top products. This will help increase the income of local communities and boost local economies, and so. Help develop provincial areas. With regard to safety and traffic problems at level crossings, barriers will be installed on either side of the track. 
and six types of crossings have been developed to meet the needs of local people for the 99 crossings. These six crossings are 1. An overpass across the railway 2. A U-turn bridge over the railway 3. An underpass beneath the railway 4. A U-turn underpass beneath the railway 5. A box culvert underpass, which not only helps local farmers, but also helps drainage during the flood season. 6. An elevated track across the road. In order to ensure the optimum benefits for all stakeholders, the maximum environmental care, and the minimum impact on the local people, the project managers have stipulated extensive environmental preventive and mitigation measures as follows. As the construction of the rail link may cause dust, noise, and vibration, so environmental measures to be implemented during this stage include insulation of temporary fences or walls with a minimum height of 2 meters and the use of board pile to reduce vibration. And the operational stage, it is required that noise barriers be installed. Where the noise level exceeds 70 A-weighted decibels or in sensitive areas that are within 50 meters of the project. Regarding mineral resources and mining, as the planned track runs through concession areas and limestone mines in Saraburi, the responsible agencies are liaising with entrepreneurs to inform them of the project plan and to allow them to make use of the areas before construction starts. During the operation stage, special emphasis will be put on safety, particularly where the track passes mining areas. In terms of flood control and drainage systems, the contractors are required to provide additional drainage channels and water catchment facilities in low-lying and flood-prone areas. Culverts and appropriate drainage systems will be installed along the length of the route to ensure efficient drainage. To address the issue of community disruption, underpasses, overpasses and pedestrian bridges will be provided at appropriate locations and in accordance with the needs of local communities. Regarding land title acquisition and compensation, most of the project construction areas will be in existing rights of way. But it may still be necessary to purchase land in some locations. Land title acquisition and compensation for property owners will be carried out transparently, fairly, and rapidly. And as for concerns about cultural heritage, project administrators will be coordinating with the Fine Arts Department to monitor construction and vibration at the construction stage to ensure the minimum impact on important archaeological and religious sites along the route. These include Pasadet Cliff in Gangkhoi District, Saraburi, and the Nampo Temple in Pak Chong District, Nakhon Ratisima. In addition, all the project's architectural structures are designed to blend with their surroundings and to emphasize airiness and simplicity. The high-speed rail system will open up economic opportunities for the region while offering commuters a world-class experience through the Rail Link's international transport standards. Whether travelers are sightseeing, on a business trip, or visiting family, they will be able to enjoy a round trip all within the same day. When the high-speed rail system opens for business, it is expected to serve almost 14,700 passengers a day. On an annual basis, its contribution to shortened travel time will be worth nearly 2.3 billion baht. To road traffic accident reduction, almost 620 million baht. To reduced fuel cost, 8.6 billion baht. 
and to reduced environmental damage approximately 3.4 billion baht. Based on economic feasibility analyses, the new rail network is expected to produce an economic internal rate of return of 14.04% provide a cost-benefit ratio of 1.58 and a net present value of more than 76 billion baht. Graciously initiated by His Majesty King Chulalongkorn the Great and continuously financed by the Royal Thai Government, Thailand's railway system is now ready for a major step forward to usher in new transport routes which will bring equitable and sustainable development to the regions of Thailand. These lines will generate income for the people, improve their quality of life, stabilize the national economy and drive Thailand toward leadership of the ASEAN Economic Community.